Imagine a rural Texas hospital where one nurse covers an entire floor, patients wait hours for radiology results, and millions are lost to fraud each year. That's unfortunately the reality for many healthcare facilities in rural Texas today. Today, we're exploring how AI regulatory technology is revolutionizing healthcare in Texas, specifically in rural hospitals and radiology. You'll learn how this technology fights fraud, improves efficiency, and ultimately saves lives. And with Texas's new AI governance laws coming into effect, this couldn't be more timely. Let's start with the scope of the problem. How bad is fraud in healthcare? It's staggering. According to recent data, fraud accounts for at least 3% of total healthcare expenditures. That's about $144 billion annually. Wait, $144 billion? That's more than the GDP of many countries. Exactly. And what's concerning is that fraudsters are now using AI themselves to generate fake claims and even clone medical records. So how does AI regulatory technology help combat this? Well, it uses both supervised and unsupervised machine learning to detect patterns that humans might miss. Could you break that down for us? Think of supervised learning like training a digital detective. Investigators show the AI examples of fraud, and it learns to spot similar patterns in future cases. And unsupervised learning? That's when AI finds unusual patterns on its own, like when a provider's billing suddenly spikes without explanation. Let's shift to rural hospitals. What unique challenges do they face? According to recent studies, rural hospitals are dealing with severe staffing shortages, rising patient needs, and extremely tight budgets. And how is AI helping there? National Rural Health Association CEO Alan Morgan points to three main uses, but the most impressive is ambient AI for documentation. What's ambient AI? It's AI that automatically documents patient appointments, freeing up practitioners to focus on patient care instead of typing notes. That must save a lot of time. Morgan says it's been transformative. But there's something even more interesting happening in radiology. What's happening there? By mid-2025, the FDA had approved 115 radiology AI algorithms, making medical imaging the largest AI target among all specialties. That's a lot of algorithms. What are they used for? They help with everything from flagging potential cancers in mammograms to prioritizing urgent cases in the workflow. But isn't there concern about AI replacing radiologists? Actually, it's quite the opposite. AI is acting more as an assistant, helping radiologists work more efficiently and accurately. Speaking of assistants, you mentioned something earlier about AI multiplying staff presence. What did you mean by that? Think about it this way. In a rural hospital, one nurse might be covering an entire floor. AI can act as extra eyes and ears. How so? The AI can monitor patients for full risks, detect early signs of deterioration, even notice when a patient hasn't moved in hours and might need repositioning. That's fascinating. But with all this AI use, aren't there concerns about regulation? Texas is actually leading the way here with the new Texas Responsible AI Governance Act, or TRIGA. What makes this law special? It's the first comprehensive AI governance law with specific requirements for healthcare providers. It takes effect January 2026. What are some of those requirements? One key requirement is that healthcare providers must disclose to patients when they're using AI in diagnosis or treatment. That's quite progressive. Yes, and it also prohibits using AI to discriminate based on protected characteristics. But there must be some challenges in implementing all this technology, right? According to a 2025 paper from Texas State University, rural hospitals face both practical and perceived barriers. What kind of barriers? Technology, infrastructure limitations, cost concerns, and some skepticism about AI's benefits in medical practice. How are hospitals overcoming these barriers? They're focusing on use cases that are both accessible and acceptable to providers and patients, starting with administrative tasks. That makes sense. Start with the less controversial applications. Exactly. And the results are encouraging. For example, in radiology, AI tools are now used by 48% of practitioners, up from 20% in 2018. That's quite a jump in adoption. And it's not just about efficiency, it's about patient outcomes. AI is helping catch issues that might otherwise be missed. Can you give an example? In radiology, AI algorithms can flag subtle signs of cancer in mammograms or lung scans that human eyes might miss on first review. That's literally life-saving technology. And in fraud detection, it's saving millions that can be reinvested in patient care. 
So when you step back from all this, what's the bigger picture? AI isn't just solving individual problems, it's transforming how rural healthcare operates, making it more sustainable and effective. And with Texas's new regulations, there's a framework to ensure it's used responsibly. Exactly. It's about finding the right balance between innovation and protection. What do you see as the next big development in this space? The integration of AI across different hospital systems. Imagine fraud detection, patient monitoring, and diagnostic support all working together seamlessly. That would be powerful. And with Texas's regulatory framework, we could see this happen sooner rather than later. Well, that brings us to the end of today's episode.